The care homes I'll be mentioning in this video are currently looking for care assistants overseas to fulfill health and social roles in England and it is clearly stated on their website that they have the capacity to sponsor overseas applicants so if you think this will interest you stay tuned till, till the end of the video hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Daniel I'm an international student in the United Kingdom and I share videos on how to relocate abroad so if this is the first time I'm coming across my channel please click on the red subscribe button to join this growing family trust me it's gonna be worth your time and for my channel subscribers thank you for coming back thank you for watching my videos thank you for the likes the comments and for sharing my videos i really do appreciate you guys i've made quite a number of videos you know to keep you guys updated on care homes in the uk that are currently recruiting and so probably if you have probably applied to about four or five of them and you haven't gotten a response or you haven't got a positive response from them and you want to give up you can't afford to give up you know i've met quite a number of people that came into the uk on this visa and one thing that's cons that, that is uh, quite common um among every one of them is the fact that they were consistently applying to as many care homes as possible so which is one of the reasons why i try as much as possible when i get updates on you know care homes or recruitment agency um recruiting overseas applicants i try as much as possible to make a video to you know keep you guys informed and let you know about this vacancy so you can apply you really need to keep applying honestly you can apply for uh, to a few care homes and probably because of the uh you know negative response or some of them telling you oh they're currently not sponsoring overseas candidate and you stop trust me it's gonna be a big mistake so you need to keep applying and i've mentioned in my previous videos on how you can actually boost um your chances of you know getting this job so i'm not going to mention that again in this video so if you haven't if you are coming across my video for the first time you might want to check um, the description below so guys please you need to consistent consistently apply to as many care homes as possible you can't afford to give up now you need to keep applying keep pushing out your application all you need is just a care home to you know um consider your application and that's it trust me that's it so you probably you know apply to like 40 care homes and probably just two is going to give you a positive response so all you need is actually those two but you wouldn't know which um of those care homes i've been mentioning or you've been seeing online is going to be one of those two so please guys you need to keep applying you need to keep applying the right way and you need to keep reading the job descriptions stated and um, the, the requirements stated on so many of those links i have been sharing i will be sharing and i will also be sharing with you guys in the nearest future so don't go anywhere sit tight as I share with you some of the care homes in the UK that are currently recruiting healthcare assistants, senior carers, living carers, you know, and they are actually in need of overseas applicants. Funny enough, I've met quite a number of people that are currently live in the UK that, you know, just migrated from their student visa to this healthcare visa. And trust me, I've also met quite a number of people that came directly from their own country, especially from Nigeria. So trust me, guys, it's actually an opportunity that it's worth giving a try so do go anywhere keep watching and I share with you some of these care homes number one care home on our list is novel care now this novel care um they currently are in need of care assistance you know um and they will also be sponsoring your visa giving you a tier two visa and you know majorly they are actually in um newport in england so if you're willing to you know relocate to newport in england they might want to consider novel um care now these guys um want you to join the uk employer as a care assistant and get tier two sponsorship to live and work in the uk for up to five years and that's all you need honestly all you need is to get a job a tier two job um that will sponsor you for five years then after five years you can then you know you're now eligible to apply for ilr so trust me guys this is an opportunity you don't want to miss so it's actually a full-time job and um the novel care they help uk healthcare employers source for overseas candidates so they're like a recruitment agency but they also have the capacity to sponsor you so your job will basically they're looking for care assistants you know from overseas to fulfill health and social care roles in newport england now the uk has now um, relaxed its visa requirements to allow care workers to be sponsored in addition to senior um health care assistants rules so um most of most of them they've got like clients majorly care homes that are in need of overseas applicants and their responsibility is to help these care homes you know recruit as many overseas applicants possible and the good news is they've got the uh, certificate of sponsorship to you know sponsor your visa to stay 
in the UK and basically your key responsibility include providing care and support, promoting independence, personal care support, medication support, meal support, home support, um, task, dementia and azemia support, stroke um, recovery support, providing um, palliative support, learning disability support, mental health support, you know, and many other things. So I've already also mentioned some of the responsibility of, you know, care uh, workers, um, ranging from living carers, senior carers, health care assistants, um, domiciliary carers and all of that. So you want to check some of my videos on the um, healthcare um, visa on some of the goals or some of the requirements that um, there is for you as an uh, as a healthcare assistant. And the good thing about it is that they've got a tier two sponsorship available for UK based and overseas candidates. So it's clearly stated on their website. I'm going to put their link in the description for you to check them out. So they have tier two sponsorship available for UK based and overseas candidates. And the benefit is working hours, salary and benefits. So uh, the sponsor, uh, the sponsor overseas candidates are, you know, um, obligated to provide 39 hours per week. So you're required to work 39 hours per week, which is about, you know, um, roughly um, four days, not like long, uh, four long days, but you're probably required to work four days out of seven days, which basically just need to work for 39 hours and they pay you 10.10 pounds per hour or 20,480 pounds per year. So you're also entitled to some other employment benefits, you know, um, afforded to domestic workers, including and not limited to holiday pay, uh, statutory uh, sick pay, and maternity pay. So, even if you get to the UK, you probably get pregnant and you, you have to go on maternity leave, you still get paid. So, it's like a full time job, honestly. So, it's not like most of the part time jobs that most international students do in the UK. So, so you might want to consider novel care if you want to apply to the UK as a care assistant. Now, the second um, care um, recruitment agency or care home on our list is Life Inside UK. They are currently employing overseas care assistants for UK. So trust me guys, this most of these uh, job vacancies came out recently. So I, I think it's very important for you to, you know, get your CV prepared and start applying as soon as possible because trust me, most of these vacancies are not going to be out there for long. There are thousands of people trying to apply and getting um, for this job. So basically they are quitting overseas care, um, care assistants for adult social care providers across the uk so they have like you know care homes nursing homes so it's like care agency living care agency um, residential care you know so basically they, they actually recruits for many of this you know um care providers and you might really want to consider them um when you know seeking um a care assistant job so the requirement is is that you know experience is needed so for this particular um life inside the uk you don't need an experience to show them before you can apply for this job so no experience b1 english level that's just basic english that's i said if you are planning to apply for uh for any job in the uk as a care assistant you need to have your um your ielts ready like have your ielts score ready so that when you're applying you just whenever they ask for additional documents you have them on ground already so they also have the right to work or eligibility to apply for the uk working visa so basically that's the way it works so they have like different um pay um uh, range they have to for 8.91 to 10 i'm just going to put it on the screen so you can watch you know you can also one of the good things about this job is that you can also work over time so aside from the 39 hours you are required to work per week you can choose to take up over time and trust me if you're in the uk you know what i mean overtime pay usually like I would use all crazy like overtime pay usually very high. So you really want to consider it. You also get like a day to two days off per week. You also get training provided. So there's like a you know training a, a, a refresher training given to you um over time. So you get you updated honestly. And one benefit about this uh, particular uh, job vacancy is the fact that you know um they offer accommodation you know uh, between. 180 to 400 pounds obviously now the accommodation is not for free now they help you with accommodation and deduct your accommodation fee from your salary so it's just like a way to give you a soft landing when you um, eventually get into the uk and the requirement basically is at least a b1 in english that's like i think that should be about 5.0 um uh, band score of a 5.0 or 6.0 band, band score in your IELTS and you know all the other documents required for you to be able to apply for a working visa in the United Kingdom. Now the number three um care home or care agents on our list is Castle Care 
uh Wexx limited now these guys are looking for living carers overseas i made a video on um massive recruitment of living carers so if you don't know what the job function or job description of a living carer is you might want to check the description to watch one of my videos on living carers i also try to put the link up there if i can so now if this basically they are, uh, the position is living in Kenya and as, as I place on the screen right now, you can see this job is also for overseas applicants. So guys, don't listen to someone telling you, oh, they're not employing people from overseas. People are coming into the UK on this visa. So uh, basically, so um, the location is in um, Farnham and uh, it's a full-time job, obviously. Then the salary is between 18,000 to 30,000 pounds, depending on your negotiation skills. And um, these uh, updates, came up in february 2022 and it's still very much on so i really want to consider that it's basically a living care job you stay with uh, a particular patient for a particular period of time maybe for 12 weeks then later they move it to another care home so it's really a flexible job to be honest with you guys then um, another um equipment or should I say another opportunity for um the care assistant job is with the syk recruitment and they are basically in derby and the job um uh, they are looking for senior carers. I also made a video on senior carers. You can check the description to watch the job description of uh, of um, of um, senior carers in the UK. And this job actually was posted six days ago, at the time I'm making this video. So the pay is about ten pounds twenty seven, um, uh, ten pounds per hour, and you're required to work thirty seven and a half hours per week, day or night. And they have good um, CQC. So it's actually a private care home operator with nursing homes throughout the local area they are currently looking for to recruit senior carers to work in their care homes in belpa area so basically you're probably working as a senior carer in a care home it's quite different from the living carer where you need to live um, with a patient so it's a permanent contract of 27 37 hours per week you work day and night you get paid 10.27 pounds per hour and your role basically will involve all aspects of personal care and support that you'll be required to assist you know service users with personal care then also um these are some of the requirements i'll be putting on the screen you will obviously also um lead shift coordinate care and lead and develop the team of care staff so basically these are some of the things you require the job description that comes with the job so trust me guys People are located to the UK on the health and care visa. So if you think this is an opportunity you want to leverage on, it's time to keep applying. Like, don't stop applying. Just keep applying. One or two of these care homes will definitely reach out to you. The UK is short of health care givers. Like, they are really short of health care givers. So it's an opportunity you want to, want to leverage on at this time. So this will be the end of this video. If you find this video resourceful, please click on the like button and if you have any question you can click on uh, you know the comment section i also put a link in the description if you want to have like a one-on-one -on -one, uh, session with me a chat or a video call i put the, uh, the link down there for you to be able to chat with me so you can have a deep um you know more detailed private conversation on your relocation plan to the uk so this will be the end of this video if this is the first time I'm coming across my youtube channel please click on the red subscribe button trust me it's going to be worth of time i've got amazing content on this youtube channel that you're going to find resourceful and if this is the first time as i said click on the red subscribe button and for my channel subscribers you guys are family thank you guys for the love you guys are the reasons why i keep sitting in front of the camera to make videos thank you guys i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video i'll see you guys in the next video thank you